running, running, keep running. You, rat, give us the mirror you picked up on the beach. Mirror? Kispik doesn't know mirror. What is? Big, rectangular, silver. You can see your reflection in it. Have you seen it? Ah. Wait. Maybe? Yes. Follow. Do not forget, gather all the things. Kispik, that's a statue. Probably stolen, too. <laughs> it's not as if the Skrid are sculptors. Not stole! Found! Follow me. Maybe Mirror is over there. Quick! Quick! From here, too! Yes! Maybe? Those were golems, you gibbering ball of fur. Now they're just junk. No, Kispik, that's not the mirror either. It's silver and shiny. Hmm. Follow. We go deeper. You, here. There. Now we go. Yes, that's the mirror. Can we have it? We can offer it in trade. If you fix these golems, the Skrit will give you the mirror. We want the golems to defend our home against the fire creatures. Is it a deal? Strange. It sounded like Kispik suddenly became smarter. Is such a thing even possible? More than possible. That's how Skrid operate. When they're alone, they're dumb as an electrocuted rock. Get a few together, and their intellect improves. Oh, wow. I wish Sobari got smarter like that. Me too, Fluffwit. Especially right about now. Are you sure you can repair those golems, Laura? They look like a total mess to me. Of course I can. But listen. I don't see why I should waste my time to save a horde of shiftless scavengers. We're better off if the destroyers wipe out these thieving script. You're getting ahead of yourself. First we see if we can even fix the golems, and then we figure out what to do with them. Fine. Get out of my way, you soft-hearted artichoke. This'll be a snap. Here's this squalid pit for the golem parts. Maybe I can make something out of them. Aha! A quasi-phasic reactor. Do so you work for me? <laughs> These golems are barely functional. We'll be lucky if they don't tip over, explode, or tip over and explode. What? 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 Huh? I haven't seen a working Arco Magic U drive in years. Maya. That's it. Crystal core. That's the last thing we needed. There we go. This golem's functional. Now then, shall I set its weapons for deep fat fry and point it at those annoying rats? Lara, imagine you were back in the crate cage waiting to be eaten. It's the same here. We must protect the weak from the merciless.
It's magnificent. Look at the detailing on the silver frame. There's something moving inside the mirror. Huh. Behind the... Uh, I can't quite see. It looks like... Why, that landscape, it looks like ore. What happened? Where did Tegwin go? Oh, Brambles, did the crate take her again? Valiant, help! The crate are nowhere near us, you yammering salad. That mirror must be cursed. Tegwin looked into it and vanished. That's definitely not good. Even if I knew how to undo a curse, this mirror's Orion. It's far more powerful than I can handle. We have to take it to Traherne. He's studied ore since the early days of the Savari. He'll know how to help Tegwin. I was studying forced material transference long before that walking fern fell off the tree. Come to my lab instead. I'll locate your missing green bean and have her back here in no time. You're very clever, Lara, but Traherne's a firstborn. What do we do? Valiant, you decide. <laughs> 